This is question number four of the PREP EGD paper for 2020. So what you can do is read the instructions very carefully. What is given to you are, there are two things. That's very important. The first thing that's given to you is an exploded isometric drawing with all the parts. And there is an exploded. So what I would suggest is that you circle that and look at that very carefully, right? Um, and then also on the other on the other bullet stated the orthographic views of each of those components. So you have a list of components that that you have there. If there's a washer, there's a M60 nut, there's a bracket, there's a spur gear, there's a bush, there's a shaft, there's a key. Each one plays an integral part of the drawing. So you need to go and familiarize yourself with what, what, uh, with what is happening on this page and where each item belongs. So if you look at number one, there's number one and you will find that number one is right here. Make a circle, draw a circle around it. Number two, draw a circle around it. Number three is going to be is number three and that's number three at the bottom here that you can put in a box and you are probably going to start with number three as it as it is the biggest component and everything is built around the bracket um, you look at number four number four is the pulley you're going to put that in a box as well so that you know that you have two views of each item and then you have five the bush and then you have the shaft which is number six and last the seven is the key that is the key over there okay um, and then you will read further that uh, you must draw on page 17 which is a blank page right uh, to scale one is to one very importantly um, two views a sectional front view which means the front view has been uh, cut and where are you going to view the front view from from this arrow that you see right there that is where you are standing and viewing from the front view and then of course if you have a left view boys and girls then you will have to draw it from the left side which is this side here okay that will be your left view so two views which you will be able to draw and all of this will just be pushed together right I can already see that those this bush is going to go inside here inside that part there and inside that part over there goes in here goes in there um, I can already see that space is taking up there according to the dimensions but you need to view it very carefully to be able to make that um, decision as to where it's going to go so you have to draw the nut showing three faces m16 and i will speak about that a little bit later when we get to it so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we are going to draw the main component which i say is number number three which is the bracket so i'm going to draw these two components slightly further away from each other to create space Okay, I'm not going to draw it, but I'm going to sketch it. But you must be able to draw it. Okay, so um, let's take that and put that into the drawing on this blank sheet of paper there. Okay. So yeah, I've basically constructed uh, my, my drawing nicely apart. I've started with a crossing here which basically would be my center line there and I drew a center line over here in the middle and I did a circle and all these circles here and I projected down created my base here with my uh, web here drew a line from there to there so I created that then I transferred all these lines across to create this view that I have there according to the dimension now while I'm at it this is going to be my section front section view 
that's going to be my left view on my left hand side I know for a fact that because I'm going to cut this all this dash lines here will become solid so I'm going to immediately put it in solid there right but now with <clears throat> no doubt at all I'm going to put that in solid when I cut it it's going to be cut with sectional lines like that here there because that, that's an empty space that's an empty space so the cutting is going to run like that right through here right through there you will find significantly that it will run right through this drawing over here it's just that on this side here there will be holes which I will have to put in and probably holes here which will not be hatched so that will be an open section here okay just like that and then everything will be hatched here neatly hatched at 45 degrees this part here will not be hatched as that is a web that's a web so the web is not hatched no hatching right that's important no hatch because you get marks for no hatching that okay that's my first component now I'm going to put in my next component according to my list and that's going to be I have that I'm going to put in my two um, spaces which would be my bush into the respective areas and you're going to find that that bush size there fits perfectly inside here what do I mean by that if you take the size of your bush um, that bush is 15 or 16 16 and that's going to fit perfectly into the, the 16 here and you will find the 16 there and if you tally this you will find this 22 minus 6 and that's going to leave you with 16 here as well so it's going to be perfectly putting in that space over there right and then you're going to cut it as well so let me put that in on my drawing there my bush fits in my bush fits, fits in onto the drawing and I'm going to draw the bush that side and that is going to have the same hatching as my bush on the uh, left and right okay there so that has been cut in half so that's how you're going to see it with the hatching in there so that part just drops down which is going to be that middle part there the hatching the, the the dash lines will become dark and that is the part that I've hatched that you've put in there all right let's move to the next component on the drawing which is going to be your um, pulley which I'm going to fit into that 33 there because the pulley is actually 33 let's put that in there there I've included my pulley and I started on my left view with my pulley by drawing the various circles of my pulley from that uh, instruction page over there and once I've done that I projected everything over so that that um, view of my pulley is shown here uh, what I need to also do is that I need to convert the dash lines here to solid lines because that is going to be come um, solid once I cut that this section is going to fall away because that becomes empty now that's a hole that runs right through um, that here is the teeth of the pulley which is not shown like it is shown on here it's actually just the, the distance of the, the crest which is the depth of the teeth which is shown there so you're going to have all of this highlighted like that until that point there and it will continue like that there so this part is not hatched because that's an inside part there of the pulley that is basically occupied by space um, it's like a little rim on the inside all right once you've completed that and this is only a sketch you will have to draw it accurately you are going to put in the next component which is your shaft 
and you push it right through okay um, through the center of your your entire component here okay let's put that shaft in so I've included my shaft paint list and I just want to show you it starts here so it's sh the shaft will basically hit against this part there which is going to be that line over there and then this part is going to come out here that part is going to come out here at 45 degrees 45 degrees it's going to go straight then you're going to have one millimeter one millimeter and one millimeter on the inside of the of the threaded section of the shaft and then the other part if you measure it it's going to come out here the side here you're going to cut that oh you're going to create this over there and then on this side here you're just going to have an auxiliary view like that where you have that there basically um, with this inside circle here as an auxiliary view there to assist you to get that component there once you project that across there you will find that that's going to be your top and your bottom and you just do a cross there because that's a square part on the shaft the shaft is not hatched so you leave it as is right through right it goes right through and there is a part where you will have to put in the dark line of the um, keyway and that I want to refer to this particular section there right the key which is going to become dark and while you're at it, the key can be slotted in here as well. The key is just a little box like that that goes in there. And I want to refer you to that key which is there, the 21. That little box key is going to fit in there. Which basically fills up a little gap like that there. In terms of that little part over there. Okay. And then the last part, or the last two components, which is basically your washer and your, your nut, which you're going to draw. So let's do the washer first. That's the washer, it's just two millimeters. So you are going to put your washer like that there um, in here. So your washer is going to be there. That's gonna be your washer there. And then you're gonna take it over and your washer is gonna lay right there okay, that's your washer with two millimeters that you will see the thickness there then the most important thing is your um, nut now this is an m16 nut now i want to explain this to you here this is an m16 nut right so whatever nut you have m16 m20 to be able to get a circle so I'm going to you must I'm going to zoom zoom in on this particular component here so let's say for argument's sake we have that crossing here so you are going to draw this is a zoomed in section over there so M16 so that's 16 times 1 comma 5 and that's going to give you um, 1 is 8 plus half it is 4 that is going to be 16 plus 4 going to give you 20 so you're going to draw with your circle template with your circle template you are going to draw a circle of 20 like that there right perfect dark circle I'm going to put let's assume that let's assume that that's the circle there that you see there okay let's make this the washer and the inside one is the circle then you have to show three faces from this side right three faces from that side now it's very important to understand how you're going to draw three faces from that side okay so because it's going to go in like that you're going to draw tangents along your washer like that so tangents with your set square like that and then so I want to show you just that you're going to draw tangents like that alongside this um, circle of 20 
and then on your t square you are going to have the set square doing 30s 30 degree lines 30 degree lines like that and you turn it around and you're going to have 30 degree lines like that so that's going to happen here as well you know tangents 30 degree lines 30 degree lines and the other side will have 30 degree lines as well that's phase one that is going to be phase two and three now that corner there you will have to connect till that corner till that corner till that corner you can draw a dark and that's what's going to happen here okay i'm just drawing it over this this will have to take you'll have to take this across that point across this point across that point across let's for argument's sake this is your washer here which is there right that washer is here now so this you're going to take across on the drawing i'm going to make this washer a little the washer a little bit further out so you're going to take that point across like that you're going to take the most outside point across like that and the inside points will probably lined up with that okay so there you've got your line you take the m16 again times 0 0.8 that 0, 0,8 gives you the distance here. So if you take your calculator and you say on your calculator 0 0.8 times 16, that's going to give you 12.8. So let's make it 13. So that's going to give you 13. And you measure 13 from here and then you cut it off like that. Now you've got one face, two face and the three face. So that's 13 over there. Let's assume that's 13. 1, 2, 3. Then your compass must be needed now. And just before your compass, you're going to draw 30 degree lines again, like that. And like that. So you have that point there. So that is going to be used. You must open it up like that. And you're going to arc it like that there. Okay, when I highlight that, that's what you're going to do. Highlight that. Then you're going to draw from that point just down and from that point just up like that. So that you have that and that the compass again, very small, and you just arc it like that and arc it like that. There. So you're going to be sitting with that arc and that arc. It's a very delicate process. So that is for this one here, that is for that one, that's for them. And these are all 30 degrees. Okay, I just want to highlight it here. You're going to draw lines down, lines down like that. That would be for this here. That would be for that over there. This one here would be for the big one over there that you see. There. Then the only 60 you're going to have, 60 degrees, is going to be a line that goes slightly up like that. And another 60 so you're going to be slightly up like that and then there's going to be a straight line that comes and connect that there. Right, so this line is going to be tight against the, the, the arcs that you will see here. So if I want to zoom in, so you're going to have, if I just need to draw, uh, for example, you're going to have the three, one, two, three, these lines are going to be down, that's going to be there. There's going to be a 60, like that, and it's going to be tight against that corner or the arcs of the line of the circles there. And then all you have to do, you have to darken that, darken that, darken that, darken that, and that will be a dark line. And that concludes your, your nut. So here, 60, 60, tight to the line. That probably is going to be coming out, still having that effect there. So you're still going to see that effect happening there. This is a dark line, that's a dark line, that's a dark line, that's a dark line, that's a dark line. And that concludes your, your drawing. Um, make sure that you put in your center lines, very important. Should there be center lines? Uh, label them, section and left view. And uh, your nut, 
your washer, your shaft, those things do not take hatchings. You leave them as is. And of course, the little web section here, which does not take hatching as well. This is just a basic sketch which you need to put together in terms of a, an assembly drawing. Okay, that concludes the final drawing of your test paper which you need to go through.